Hi, this short video will introduce you to a little short course on Moodle where you can find help if, when working with Moodle, our virtual learning environment. From the staff intranet page you have a link to Moodle and when you access Moodle you have a direct link to our little Moodle help course. The Moodle help team is made up of Stephanie Burns who is the manager of all the library learning centres and Jesse Allison, who is the facilitator for business and adult education based in LLC1. Lydia Haram, who is the facilitator for DCSI, Digital Creative and Service Industries, and Lydia is based in LLC3. Mark Haynes Kershaw, who is a facilitator for construction and engineering and sports, and he's based in LLC4. And Gary Dicker, who is the learning facilitator for HCSP, which is hospitality, catering and service provision. When we move further down, you will find we have a Moodle starter setup pack. So if you haven't used Moodle before, you can download the starter guide. We have details on all the resources you can upload and all the activities you can upload to your Moodle course. And we also have individual Moodle step-by-step -step guides to help you. You will find on here some user-friendly guides in addition to perhaps some videos showing you how to use the guides. And you will be able to find information on how to embed YouTube clips, how to create and use Turnitin boxes, and how to create digital submission boxes for your student. In addition, there's a little calendar add-on facility called Moodle Scheduler, and there are details of how to use that too. The Moodle help team are available to help you by our email address, which is simply moodle at southport.ac.uk or you can phone any of the centres and directly speak to a facilitator. We also have frequently asked questions which uh, when you click that will download some questions which may give you answers to your initial queries. It also tells you what you have permission to do on Moodle. If you are a teacher and you will be made an editing teacher on a course or you may well be made a non-editing teacher and your students obviously will be enrolled as students so they do not have any permissions to change anything you put on Moodle. If we can't help you with your query, we will pass you your query on to the ICT support team and the relevant member of that team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.